out here. Oh, fuck you. Um, is that this, just the level ones? Still, that's 19 of them. God damn. We might need help for that many. I mean, it's, it's a three skull mission and we're playing on experts, so. Not that surprising. We're in the swamp, though. Like, we could maybe get some work done in the swamp if they stupidly position themselves in the swamp water, which they will. Um, you don't need the two-handed spear thingy with against them. Yeah, do they even have... Two big boys? I don't think there's going to be any big boys based on the, the tile here. That makes me think they're all T1s, or is that the T2 tile? What we're going to do is we're just we're going to lure them to civilization. Actually, I could have them fight. That's such a huge skeleton tile. Oh boy. Reanimator's abode. A necromancy mini necromancer, many weeder gangers, some armored weeder gangers, a few geists. Um The Noxarares are allied with these people though, so I don't think I think if I try to engage uh, they would actually be on the same side. Plus, yeah, geists are too spooky. I'll poop myself if I if I see a ghost. They say I ain't afraid of no ghost, but I am. Um, I sure hope this... Oh god, those tracks lead the other way. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, good. Whew. Come on, monkeys. Grab some spears. Not convinced about the spears, man. The damage is only 30 to 35. And if the spear wall fails at that point, it's just like, you know, kind of bad. I mean, we can equip them just to get them repaired, I guess, but... I'm really not sure if it's better to go with the arming swords. You don't want a spear wall monkey. That's what I was thinking. You just want to, like, kill them as fast as possible, really. You want to kill them so hard you can step on the corpses. Yeah, I mean, you can spear wall things from going onto the corpses, but if it fails, then you're just GG'd, you know? What's up, blokes? How you doing, man? I think you want to spear wall zombies, actually. Alrighty. The second Hohenstein company. There's only eight of them. Bro. <laughs> I think we might be able to force these two groups to fight. The army will come out on top. And then we're going to get... Uh... Yeah, 422 sounds right. Um... We'll get some super good gear, perhaps. I don't want to do it in the forest, though. Let's get both of them. Gotta be careful, because they're all hostile. 19 knock is tough. Yeah, maybe. Cool thing is, there's nothing here that I can't run away from. I don't want to go to the mountains, because that would make it harder for me to run away. The AI company will let them eat. It's true. Either way, they'll be softened up even if some of them are leveled. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. They are all level 1s, apparently. Well, there's a lot of level 1s, anyway. <laughs> They're 
so many of them. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. Everything's okay. This is this is what the army gets for persecuting me so they get to enjoy dealing with these monkeys. Yeah, I agree. I agree, blokes. Just so you can have the best positioning. I think it takes them um, action points to to eat a corpse as well. I've seen them stand on a corpse without eating it. are going to catch me. We can take the high ground and start fighting, but I don't want to fight. I want them to fight my enemies for me. It's going to be quite bad if I have to fight all these monkeys. I could certainly take them, but the idea is to soften up the uh, footmen and hopefully I get some of their armor, yeah? Running out of runway here. Oh god, we really are running out of runway. Hmm. Uh. No, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna split. That's too. Uh, I think I'm just gonna set myself up to run out of the fight. If, if this goes any more poorly. Splitting the forces sounds like a good way to lose half my forces if I... If anything goes wrong. I'm gonna go for the ultimate coward play. Just line up along the side. Hey, they're engaging. They're engaging, I think. Yeah, uh, I would like to move forward onto the high ground, but, um, like right here, but that stands the chance of luring them, so instead we're just going to consolidate our forces in a little pile here. See some three I see some level three monkeys. I see I see some uh, confident monkeys. What do you want me to do with the trees, like? I mean, I could put a shield guy there, I guess, and he would still be surrounded on two, three sides. I think I may be making a mistake here, because it looks like at least one of the footmen has already died. Um, so I have to wonder how many level three monkeys are going to be left with this. Dude, I think all the footmen might be dead. Those feeding sounds. Oh, the, the Noxurus have definitely won. 
Just gonna wait to see who wins, and we'll, we'll mop up. I mean, it's definitely, it's gonna be the Noxorus, I'm pretty sure. On the other hand, look, all these hidden guys, yeah, those are all footmen and stuff, so maybe we're okay. Survivors eat all the corpses. Yeah, that, that's an issue. That's the issue, because we have a lot of level threes at that point. Just gonna get a better look at what's going on here. Hello. Yeah, see, look, look how much damage they're doing to these guys. Oh, God. Oh, this is actually kind of dangerous. Um, two, three, four. He could reach my, my love, the pimp. Man, that monkey's having a good time. Look at that tongue. Mm. T3 monkeys aren't all that spooky. They, they attack really hard, is all. I mean, we have a nice little spot to fight here, depending on how many monkeys are left. I'd fight, like, two T3 monkeys from here and not feel too bad about it. His shield's breaking. 60 damage a swing. Yeah, that's, that's no joke for sure. Um. Oh boy. Four, six, eight. He could he could reach Enish actually. God damn. Got to be very careful. I don't want the same thing to happen to me. It happened to me in that one campaign. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we need to get Enish out of the way. Big boys have 80 melee skill? Jeez. to 88 damage on a swipe. Youch. Yeah, even with shield walling, 80 melee attack probably gives them a 80% or more chance to hit. Small boys have 60 melee skill. That's not bad either. Wow. Only 10 left. Uh, I see a lot of tier 3s. There's a tier 3. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Archer. <laughs> um, I bet he's fleeing from this battle. fairly close. Yeah, the problem is there's a lot of tier 3 monkeys left. I will hide in the bushes. And back all my gentlemen off so I don't get ranged down. Don't need to worry about me, my friend. Worry about the monkeys. Yeah, four to five tier threes, I think we just start losing guys. We could certainly beat them. I 
I think it might only be three big boys, though. No, I see. I think I see three big boys and then a tier two. Retreat and re-engage, yeah. Hey, Delight334, thanks for the follow. Um, there'll still be t th tier threes, though, right? Well, if we retreat, they won't be confident anymore. They, they become super confident after they eat. That one is very hurt, though. Oh, you just lose, like, 10 Renown or something. Good luck with the monkey business. <laughs> Thank you. I think the... I think the army's dead. So we have three tier threes. And a tier two, and another tier three. Yeah, we have to run. <laughs> they look a little different, actually. Why is that, I wonder? Like, these ones don't have horns. Is that just cosmetic? They do have six. I think one of those might be a soldier running away. Adios, muchachos. Some Nox are rare. Yeah, it reset them. Look, it's still it's only tier two. See? That's interesting. That's bizarre. It would have been cooler if they had stayed as tier three, because this is this is like too easy now, but um Huh. That's good to know. We lose some experience, so it's not like totally zero costed to do this, but, um... Exploit found. Well, I mean, is it really much of an exploit? I mean... You still have to drag dudes into each other. There's, there's some work to be done and lots of chances to mess up while it happens. If I had, for example, taken the fight against just one of them, we could have lost dudes to... Arbalesters, you know. Yeah, I'm okay with um, enemies healing to full after battle as well. The mercs can change. Completely different rerolled mercs. Yeah, that's annoying. Hmm. Do we focus on the big boy Noxerer? I think we focus on the little ones. They die faster. Start him on the bleeding, though. Super bleeding. Nice. You want to focus the harder ones first, then make certain you can step on the corpse. Interesting. That 60 attack power is really showing itself as they bypass the shields. I don't know, man. The tier 1s still have pretty good accuracy. Some of the easiest enemies in the game. Interesting. This is pretty solid damage for for being one of the easiest things in the game, you know, getting a few attacks and ripping right through in, in huge numbers, I feel like that's pretty meaningful.
Not much in the way of loot, but we do get the quest done. Easiest three skull mission ever, yeah. It's too bad we didn't get any of that footman stuff. That's what I'm really waiting for, is the moment when we can start killing footmen, bill hooks, arbalesters. Twenty clubs with twenty thugs with clubs and flails. I would go for the thugs, I think, personally. Do you complete the quest? Um, it's a great question, Berserk. But if you if you if you kill them afterwards, yes. If you flee, I don't know. I bet you it would be left with like one thing on the screen. Like even though everything died. Oh, you mean if you just you don't even participate in the fight? That's a yeah, that's really interesting. I don't know if they'll ever do that. I don't know if they'll ever start a fight with each other when you're on a quest like that. Maybe. Three more days on money, four more days on food. Got a lot of axes now. Four more days on money. No quest. Totally, totally cucked out on the, uh, on the quests, man. I would like to, to sail to Seastot. Um, I think I'm just going to walk to Seastot. We'll take the road and hopefully, fingers cro crossed, we run into some caravans finally oh hello come across a line of stopped wagons you realize the wagons are cages with each serving a prison to a wild animal turning the line of carts you come to face with a variety of beasts a haunched and mewling black cat launches its man killer claws through the bars blah 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 finally rattles the bears roaring there's powerful paws etc etc a man leans back from behind one of the wagons he's a he's got a wild look on his face as though you just caught him getting one off the wrist. What? Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm the captain of the Bitcoin Barbarians. <laughs> Sell swords, then. Uh, cloak fell off the wagon and they wouldn't shut up how I wasn't paying them enough to transport such goods. What do you need help with? Animal Tamer leads you to a carriage. You immediately see why his hired hands quit. A frenzied and mercurial wild man is sitting inside the cage. Raw wrists bleed against his shackles, signs of attempted escapes. Half starved, the wild man gnaws on sticks, poking from a tumble his tumbleweed of a beard. <laughs> Seeing the sad sight, you grab the stranger by the shirt, slam him against the wagon. Hmm. They want to see uncivilized wild men and see them up close. All right, douchebag. Uh, I'm gonna look up this event because I wanna. I bet you can hire this guy. Wild man. Imprisoned wild man. Yeah, here we go. We have a monk. Presumably, if we click the monk, I mean, usually, usually if you have something special, you know, with a particular class, that's that's the path you're supposed to take. Um, the monk gets a bad mood, and that's how you get him. Okay, sure. The old gods would frown upon what you've done here. The old gods consider slavery a part of the natural order. <laughs> mm. Whoa. The sir vomits as his face is doused in blood. Oh god. Absolutely disgusting. He's perfect. Outstanding capacity for violence is well suited to a mercenary band. The animal tamer gone. There's no one left to take care of the beasts. Enish comes up and asks what should be done with them. 
Uh, I didn't see this part of the explanation. Um, oh, if we if we let them out, we actually get a war dog and a falcon. If I were to slaughter them, we would get some money, which would be would be nice right now. But um, gonna let them out. Sick. Determined. Alrighty, he's got a range skill, he's got negative five melee defense but a star in it, and he's got two stars in fatigue. Got ten bros now. Most of, pretty much all of which are shield bros. He does have a nice trait, it's true. Hello, Amy the Marshmallow, how are you doing? Alright, we need a name for him, and I think it would be just perfect to name him after the Sneed Man. We really do need some ranged guys, though. Would be, would be nice to have ranged guys right about now. Um, let's equip our dog. And our falcon. Very happy to have a falcon. Actually, I might... Uh, I think I'll give the falcon to the bannerman. Wait, no, he's got the sash. Derp. Sadly, because you don't have access to the rest of the world. Yeah, I'm not super likely to find a falcon for sale, considering how many towns we've pissed off. Oh, you're talking about getting ranged guys. Yeah, well, I was... I've seen a lot of jugglers for hire. If I if I had more money, um, we would just... We would just do that, but... Um, two towns had falcons, so. though. Dude, we only have three days worth of money... I could sell some of this stuff for, for a couple more days, but... Alright, three days should be enough to travel this whole murder highway, and hopefully we find some caravans. What's this now? There's some tracks. I think this is probably the Noxero tracks that we already took out. I'm not gonna chase that down. First Hohenstein Company. few war dogs. Definitely can't end up in combat with them because of the war dogs. Lots of brigand thugs. A brigand raider. Um, this is safe. Super safe, in fact. Juicy, in fact. Yeah. Uh... Wait a minute, does that raider have regular male armor? I think he might. That's not even rusty. I would like to steal that. Alright, we are going to have to do some, some fast killing here. Instant decapitation. Sick. I don't care about any of this gear except for the raider's gear. Um, so this is mildly annoying because um, if they were a little bit closer we could have hopped up to them. Maybe I shouldn't have targeted this dude but instead this thug so that uh, Mero could jump to him. But uh, maybe I wasn't expecting to instantly decapitate. <laughs> Let us do this. Okay, this guy has better armor. We're more likely to kill this thug. Um, I'm more afraid of the spear because it's more accurate, but um, we'd like to get kills. It'd be nice if battlefields weren't instanced and time didn't stop. Then the city guard could catch up and join the battle. Uh, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, should I not equip the fencing sword? Are you saying the arming sword is better? Because the, the fencing sword has 
higher max damage, and the, the Arming Sword has uh, higher min damage, so it's kind of a toss-up. I probably, you know, honestly, for consistency, I probably, now that I think about it, I should, should just use the Arming Sword. Yeah, that's right, the, you're, you're right, the Fencing Sword does do less against armor. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I should be doing it differently. Okay, we could decapitate here, but it's not super likely to just kill him instantly. Um, he's It'll do more damage, but um, I don't think it'll kill him. We're going to try. Oh, almost. Almost. I kind of messed up here, though, because Slug City just took up the position where Verser should be. Uh, I'm actually going to be a wild man and uh, walk forward because these guys' weapons are not very good and this is just going to be bad for their morale, basically. It's cool. Enish has the golden dog. I can play super reckless here. The only guy with a weapon that truly scares me is um, the flail here. Oh, uh-oh. That's a stun. Wow, he didn't shield wall. Interesting. I think Sneedman the animal might be having a problem. Oh god. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I should have been more careful about his positioning. Is there any way to fix this? Um... Sneed and feet. <laughs> yeah, he's got an issue. So we could shove this guy and step forward. 95% chances for that to happen, but it doesn't really fix the situation. He's still got three dudes around him, you know? Is there any way? I think the only way to do this is to get kills. I could shove the raider away. I could try. Um, I would have to walk away and not get hit by this thug. And then also succeed on the on the push. And then walk forward. And that would certainly block damage from the raider. That'd be ideal. My instinct is that doing damage is, is what should be done here, though. Because um, if I kill this and we have like a morale cascade type deal happen and these guys start running away. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. The only question is, do I release a dog or not? Or do I just attack? I release the dog, this guy hits less often. I, I think we do damage. Okay, there's morale penalty, so that was worth it. That reduces their accuracy. If we lose the Sneed Man, it's really no big deal. We literally just got him and he's level one, so whatever. Okay, so we could move Mazanak up here and that, that will not let him do anything, but it will make this guy more surrounded, which I think makes him hit less often and stands a chance of lowering his morale. Or we could step forward and start doing damage. Um, huh. I think we just want to kill dudes. Yeah, that was great for morale. Huge cascade happening. Sadly, it hasn't hit the dudes in the north yet. Let's see if we can't do something about that. If I wanted to, I could I could lunge right here. And maybe do a little damage to this thug. Um, or I could just try to kill one of these unarmored ones and probably have more of an effect on morale. Um, I, do, I do think I should attack, though. It's just that it's 83% here. And the, the lunge is actually less damage on account of the fact... Almost no damage, really, because my initiative is crap. I'm going to do this, though. Yeah! It actually worked out. Alrighty, Sneed, man. Um, he could attack. And honestly, he stands a reasonable chance of killing this almost unarmored brigand thug. 
I feel like this is just like a tunic. Or he could shield wall, or or he could do a knockback. Um, he could do like two knockbacks, I guess. <laughs> um, that doesn't really help. Well, actually, no. If we knocked him back, two, four, six, eight, we could we could throw Slug City up there. And Slug City, of course, has low HP, but it's got 22 melee defense. That's not bad. We could also have been using nets here, which I, you know, probably should have to fix this situation. Oh, bro, was Sneedman level two when he started? Looks like he's got levels here. <laughs> Quick, let me give him nine lives in combat. Wouldn't that be nice if you could do that? Hmm, tempting. Tempting, although it does. Yeah, he does have the he does have the fatigue to knock back and shield wall. I think it is the right thing to do. And we succeed. Yeah. It's kind of torn between attacking, but I yeah, I think shield walling is correct. Alright, then we throw Slug City up here. Boom! He's in the way. Alright, alright bucko. Just going right through my armor. Alright, GG Sneed, man. And he's dead, he's not struck down. Lame. Um, hmm. He's not messing around. These misses are outrageous. I think we might repel 60% chance just so I can get out of this. Uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna kill the thug. Then we'll wait. Maybe we can shove this dude away. Uh, I'm not gonna try to walk away. What we will do is, um... guys next to him. Um, hmm. I want to unleash a dog almost just to see if it'll start him fleeing. There, There is a chance that he kills Gubu. Does, does Gubu have Iron Brow? Or, sorry, I meant to say Slug City. Does Slug City have Iron Brow? He does. He has, he has Steel Brow. So, um, even if he's lashing and he takes out the hat. I mean, if I not, the thing is, if I knock him back again, he may run and I want his armor. I think I want his armor more than I want to ensure that Slug City can't die. Um, I mean, yeah, if we knock him back, he will get all of one attack. I'm pretty sure, though, he'll only do one attack anyway because he's got two guys next to him now. And I've noticed the AI does not like to do double attacks if it can instead shield wall and attack if there's more than one dude next, so. Um, okay, yeah, we're good. Want this dude's armor. Actually, I probably should have shoved him so Slug City could get away. Yeah, well. That was a double attack. I, I, I was wrong, for sure. Okay, no flee from him, unfortunately. Repel didn't work. Damn it. Axe in five turns. Uh, we've gotta we've gotta knock him back. Bucko. And now he's fleeing. Sick. 
Now he exits seven turns because uh, fleeing messes with your position in the queue. Sucks that we lost Sneed for this, but um, whatever. We just got him. We didn't really need another shield bro anyway. Oh no! My fatigue! Now we might not get his armor. It's still pretty likely though. Hey, we got it. Sneedman the animal, put down like an animal in his first fight. Also got this uh, sick-ass flail. It's definitely um, a mistake on my part to let Sneed die, though. If we had simply positioned him better, as in not on the edge, we would have been fine. Don't like the way items disappear in this game. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm not a fan of that either. Encouraging what shit? The, the, the stab party at the end? Yeah, it's almost... I mean, honestly, it's, it's, it's almost uh, mandatory to do that. You know? Like, you just... You have to have a stab party at the end of the battle. And you have to risk... You have to do a certain amount of risk in the early game, at least. Um, I guess I could have, um, uh, yeah, maybe I could have whipped his stuff out of his hands. I just, I just didn't care too much about saving Sneed, is the thing. Alright, these are plus twos. I'll probably take plus twos. Plus twos are good enough. His attack power is shitty. Just give him fatigue. Attack and defense. Um, eighty-three HP. Hell yeah, baby! All right, I do need to be careful about the way I build Verser because he is our sergeant. Certainly, he gets resolve. Boy, his defenses are terrible. However, that's a nice plus three on ranged, so he doesn't get sniped down. And that is a plus four on HP, which I think I'll actually take over a plus two on melee skill. Yeah. I almost want to give him footwork <laughs> so he can bail out since I tend to put him in dumb situations. Although, he's there's still a lot of very good defensive perks to give him. Like Colossus or uh, Nine Lives. I bet you if I give him Colossus, he'll have almost 100 HP at this point. Which would be amazing. Oh, 91. Still pretty good. Backstabber would be nice, but remember we're playing the defensive team here. First Hohenstein Company. Hmm. I could lure those dudes, you know. I think I will, actually. Because if we see monsters or raiders or something, we could maybe set up a three-way fight. Hello. Is it time for me to try to fight some footmen and a few billmen? With a pierced side, probably not. You could double the benefit of your shield bros engaging the target for Sarah's attacking. True. Um, and maybe once I get a bill hook, that'd be worth it. The standard doesn't really do that much damage. I mean, it's, yeah, 50 to 70 is quite good, but not for endgame. Not with a bunch of worn armor and a few injuries. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Oh yeah, I should equip this basic male shirt, huh? Who wants it the most? Let's find a guy who doesn't have nine lives yet. I guess I could give it to the pimp, but he's kind of the least useless, useful guy. Uh, let's give it to Gubu. Um, and then let's probably stop using 
this fencing sword and equip this nearly broken arming sword instead. For the armor penetration, yeah. Helmet is better than nasals. This one? Oh, because it's padded, yeah. That's true. Thank you for the heads up. I didn't I didn't notice that wasn't a regular nasal helmet. Look how messed up look how messed up Slug City's helmet is. We're almost to the point where we can take supply caravans, which is gonna be just great. I'm 100% sure we could take Militia, but none of the Militia have popped out to say hi to me yet, even when I pass through small towns. Hey, there's some peasants. Yeah, I found out that um, this does not actually cause ambush trade routes, weirdly enough. It's just 100% random whether a city has it or not. I guess because it would be too abusable to, to cause the ambush trade routes. Oh, the bad boy music's playing. Attack, yeah. Yeah, Billmen are no joke, for sure. They're proficient with all weapons. I thought they only had bill hooks. So, I mean, they may have all weapon profic proficiencies, but it doesn't really matter that much. Hooks, pikes, banners. These are some high initiative uh, peasants, by the way. But my monk is not real happy about this peasant slaughtering. They have pole hammers? Oh. Interesting. Oh uh, yeah, it's a fair point, blokes. Okay. Cannot attack this trading caravan. This is, well, I could, but it's from the people who are my friends, so we uh, don't want to run that risk. Oh, there's a battle here. They headed down south, whoever did this. Probably soldiers. Fighting bandits. Oh, there's some more peasants. Get a few bucks doing this. Professional peasant slaughterers over here. so not really anybody that I can train up here. It's only like 11 experience piece, but sometimes they have decent money. A 
not exactly the most heroic thing my company has done. But hey, we're raiders, we're supposed to do this. Hey, we actually got a level up. Kill them and hover over 90 to 100 melee attack. Well, kill him first, I guess. I think their armor is worse than the other guys, than footmen. So there's that. Alright, uh, I think we give 9 lives to Alf, although we could go ahead and give him a weapon mastery, I guess. How unfortunate that uh, sword mastery really doesn't do a whole lot for one-handed swords. I could, I could give him Overwhelm and turn him into, like, a dagger guy. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Dagger Mastery Overwhelm. Kind of specialize a little bit. I, I just wish we had found, um... His weapon skills are poor. That's true. Well, 64. It's not too bad. Rotate big perk here. Rotate would be pretty cool. Um... He, he gets into trouble a lot, though. I think I'm just going to give him 9 lives. We're just going to keep playing turbo defensive here. Three defense. Boom. He's going to keep being my big boy tank. All my guys are my big boy tanks. This game is so different when you build for not dying. Here we go. Finally, a trading caravan. Wanted to see these forever. But yeah, I agree, rotate would have been pretty pretty sick, and so would taunt. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll get around to getting those at some point. Caravan Guard actually has a nasal hat. Hmm. This run takes up a lot of real time. Uh, yeah, I guess it does. But that's just kind of the story of this game in general. Yeah, levels per day is outrageous right now. <laughs> They're really not going to attack. Interesting. I'll well, just start swinging on them. We'll just, uh... Kind of rush right in. Yeah, I think I agree, Lokes, since, like, none of my dudes are going to die, you know, if they're all as tanky as possible. So it's like... I do think having one guy with rotate might be good, but I feel like, I feel like knockback works just as well against anything that can be knockbacked. Knocked back. Yeah, the foundation isn't off the ground until you have Nimble, I think. I had to... I had to guess. Actually missed. Yeah, we're definitely going to be using a lot of tools after this fight. shoved him off of his pedestal. Hmm. 
kind of low on armor here. I will just wait for him. We are going to stab this dude for his... Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.